Hi there. Uh, well, I've got some very unusual things occurring in my Mesh Central install. Uh, this morning I came in and I've got four, one, two, three, four, five machines that I know I did not add to Mesh Central, but there they are appearing under the J's personal group. You know, I click on the machines, I don't recognize anything about this. Interestingly, it seems to be in the log file showing the power state over a period of time. I'm just picking one of these machines. If I click on events, uh, change device, that ID from my group, OS, I guess we changed the OS to somebody changed the OS description. I'm just going through this in case it appears to be of value to anybody. I'm uh, looking at the My Events log in its entirety. Uh, Jay Lapore is me. This is a coworker. Um, this login, I don't recognize. That obviously is related. These logins that happen at six o'clock in the morning and four o'clock in the morning definitely were not for me. And these are all odd. I have no idea how these machines would have appeared or where the compromise is being made, but obviously something is. Everything else looks legit, but somewhere between uh, then and 8.55 this morning, I have a series of activities that have resulted in these ghost machines being visible. Here's another one down here, John's PC, um, that I did not add. Can anybody think of how this could happen or what I need to look for uh, as far as, uh, as how somebody else could be using my install of Mesh Central to add machines and perhaps a whole lot worse. You know, under my users, I don't see anybody, you know, nobody's added themselves as a user. If I look at my server stats, I see a couple of peaks here at, uh, looks like at around 5 a.m., um, what does that say, 11.35, I'm not really able to make out what that time frame is, but it says 11.35 there, but if I track that down below, it's about 4.30 in the morning, which is consistent with what I've seen elsewhere, and, uh, and this one here at about 6.45, which is also consistent, and this one here, which is also consistent, so, um, Clearly, there's some agent activity. I'm not sure what the 13 means. So for the moment, I'm going to select all of those and delete those devices. And I'll see if they reappear. Everything else is legitimate. Now, for the record, in Googling, I have found a post like this one that said, unknown agents added to server. This is a, you know, almost a three-year, a three-year-old post, um, and bottom line is the only valid suggestion they came up with was adding a robots text file. Um, now I'm using Linux, and it has a robots text file located under Mesh Central under public robots uh, .txt, which on a Linux environment perhaps is uh, is the default um, public directory and that appears to be having no effect on anything you know here's someone else a similar issue an agent appeared for Phil PC in a group less than a week old um, so there there are other people out there experiencing this and there's got to be a way to uh, to safeguard the system I have uh, found this post on reddit <coughs> five months ago which um, would be around October of November of 2022. And it indicates, you know, the back and forth um, seems to indicate that it's from antivirus companies that are finding the file on their clients and testing it to see where it goes. Um, and they don't know of any way uh, to cure this. And they look like they're just accepting that as a norm. but. If I provide this as an option for my clients on, the ser on their servers to connect to other desktops in their environment, it's going to scare the hell out of them.
Uh, so I'm looking for a way to make that not happen, whether it's a real danger or not. In fact, if I look around, I'm finding posts like these pretty regularly. And you can see we removed it, it came back again, and somebody else saying uh, it's an AV sandbox performing a scan and run. So I am more inclined to believe that this is happening as a result of antivirus software that are finding the file and running it to see what it is which ultimately will only install an agent in their local Windows computer allowing me access to it and not really giving them any control to the server at all. Um, it's, it's more of an annoyance and, a, and, and from a client standpoint that's not a system administrator that sees this, it's going to scare them. And so, you know, I, I don't know of a way to fix it. I haven't found a fix online. It seems somebody may have run into this and um, and perhaps found a way to avoid this. As I really give this some thought, it, it seems like it would be a hard one to, uh, to figure out how to avoid. Somebody gets their hands on the agent, they give it to a friend, they run it on their computer, well, then it, it's designed to make a connection back to the server and be done with it. Um, and it shows up on your dashboard. So anyway, I'd love to, for that not to be the case. Has anybody got a brainstorm? Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.